What's this? What's that? Oh! Oh! Uh, I didn't expect this level of freedom. Hi. <laughs> Parkour. We know I had to do it. Okay. Yet the curse only says the sin is punished. But evident... Ice. We all saw that move, right? I did not imagine that. creepy <laughs> gonna turn this stream off it's obviously cursed no shrooms a roman fire shovel what what are those used for those okay and no doubt uh, it's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation but Romans yeah it's the servants problem not mine to do it. It's only a crime of your scene. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. <laughs> okay. That was also a little bit booming loud. Imagine if the center triggers the golden is <laughs> farting while thinking of Zeus. <laughs>
the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Two hundred seventy four, uh, uh, seventy four, uh, forty seven denarii. Each failure is a time loop. So this is death loop sixty four CE. Yeah. I. Can I speak different to him now, uh, Galerius? Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer me to take me to see uh, Santius so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, oh, I have to go. And since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Hey, we got a zip line. Just Thank attach you. the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Thanks. All right, see you around. Yeah, there are ziplines around. Okay, that was a little bit loud. I guess we go to the Magister? Your best behavior, I trust. What is it, citizen? All right. Okay, he is like reacting like he knows us. Finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? We have? Wait, 
If I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume, we failed. Yeah, we failed, you yeah. You have to start uh, over. <coughs> is that <coughs> If so, um, what happened? Uh, Yes, FYI, I will reload after this, okay? But we have to do it. We gotta do it. <laughs> you broke it. Why in Pluto's name would you do that? You just wanted... What is wrong with you? Do you fancy yourself as mortar, holding the threads of our fate in your hands? Look, it's unfortunate. All that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you've sought me out again for a reason. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. <laughs> the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Just keep breaking the rule until the game breaks. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Okay, but now what happens if we show Galerius his invention? <laughs> this is advanced timey wimey. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Let's talk to well, him like that. It's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I'm a farmer, always happy. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. Sprinted so fast I almost threw up. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. Mm. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, 
when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. It's the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. I still burns whenever I think about it. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome. To be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master. Learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times. They always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and started my life over again. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget <coughs> I said that last part, will you? I get carried away, sometimes. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Hmm. What do you think about the oh, Golden Rule? I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm-hmm. 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 We'll be going now. All right. See you around. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's go speak with the Magister. That is still loud for some reason. Keep an eye out for Santilla, would you? Don't mind me. I just live here. Okay. We have I is that <laughs> Gabe, you can't just give me new <laughs> You can't just give me new dialogue options. You can't just do it. No! <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> okay, let's imply to him that it already happened multiple times. Seems rather brash, but alright. Why have you... I 
I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Okay. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Yep, we have 493 denarii. Um, question, how do we slide this on the rope? Design flaws. Another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Boom! Smite! I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. It's definitely real. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I? <laughs> I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I don't even know how I'm dressed. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? I trust you can see yourself out. Why do her eyes look so derp-like? Have you considered the amount of incest in those times? Just saying. Best behavior, I trust. Hey, oh, Horatius. So. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, so trust me. If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Why do I get the feeling that you lot had something to do with Centaurus' disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. <laughs> Got it. Huh. As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Hello. Pretty nice. Aeolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment, it being election day. The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. You're a gladiator. Are you a gladiator? <laughs> you have a lot of water. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. <laughs> No 
how I want to know what this is. Fatuous is probably fool, foolish. Yeah, Ignis Fatuous is foolish fire. <laughs> okay, I will not say that out loud. You can look it up for yourself. <laughs> I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? Whatever. Just re Okay. Gladiatorus Susus. They went with pretty damn detailed models. Okay, and there is someone who is not happy with both of them. Sanchez and Maliolo, same excrement, different smell. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Contrary little cap of murder, aren't you? Damn it! I just want to know what caput is. <laughs> yeah, shithead. He called us shithead. <laughs> Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Uh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in, and hours go by, and he hasn't come back out yet. Is it just me, or is this so hell wobbly? Him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there, and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. Okay. 